the flower pot. We'll use double strands of yarn. Wrap the yarn around your knit finger, and then bring it up to index finger. Pinch the yarn tail with your thumb and mid finger. Work into a magic ring. Make loop around your mid finger, and pinch the crossover of the yarn. We'll use four millimeter crochet hook. Insert the hook into the loop on mid finger. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. A match ring is formed on the mid finger. In round one, work one chain stitch, add some crochets, and one slip stitch. Yarn hook and pull through the loop on the hook. That's one chain stitch. Then work eight some crochets. Insert the hook into the match ring. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. There are two loops on the hook now. The yarn hook, and pull through both loops on the hook. That's a single crochet. Such a way shape is formed on the side. Mark the first stitch of every round. Continue to work seven more single crochets in the same way. It is some crochets down. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Remove the marker and work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Make sure to tighten up when working the slip stitch. Round one is done. In round two, start with one chain stitch, then work eight increases. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Then work eight increases. Work once and crochet in the first stitch. Mark the first dozen crochet.
then work one more some crochet in the same stitch. That's one increase. Continue to work seven more increases in the same way. We work two single crochets in each stitch. Eight increases are done. Finally, work one snip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round two is done. 